In this video, I'll talk about the symptoms of worms in dogs, how to naturally treat a dog with worms, and what you can do to prevent worms and really help them to better long-term health. Hi, I'm Dan Scott, canine nutrition and home remedy specialist. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button below to stay in touch with all the latest videos that I do. And feel free to comment or ask questions below. There are a half dozen common worm types that can affect your dog. So here's the major signs to look out for. If your dog vomits or coughs up, check the contents for signs of life, such as one inch long wriggly roundworms that look like spaghetti. Often coughing up is due to roundworms passing through the lung, causing irritation and the worm is coughed up. I've personally seen this situation happening on several occasions. Does your dog have a fever? Does your dog lick their rear end or scoot about on their bum, indicating possible tapeworm eggs that look like sesame seeds stuck around the anal exit? And be sure it's not an anal gland issue first. Check for any jelly-like substance, small rice grains, long and very thin stringy vermicelli-like noodles, brown globs of mucus, or one inch long white roundworms. Your dog can go off his food, be lethargic, and have a dull, lifeless coat. And the opposite can be true where your dog is ravenously hungry all the time and is still losing weight with a distended belly as the worms are eating his food in the gut. If you suspect worms but can't be sure, the next thing to do is take a quarter sized portion of fresh stool sample in a clean plastic container to your vet to be analysed. There are generally four main types of internal worms dogs can become infected with and these are roundworms, hookworms, whipworms and tapeworms. Roundworms live in the small intestine, look like spaghetti and grow several inches or more in length and their microscopic eggs are easily picked up from infected animals. Roundworms are low risk but can be passed on by mothers to their pups during pregnancy. And if your puppy has roundworms, they may suffer vomiting and diarrhea. And look out for a pot belly, lethargy, diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, a dull lifeless coat and possible weight loss with larger infestations. Tapeworms can be very long, flat worms attaching themselves to the intestines. And you may notice broken off tapeworm segments in your dog's stool, looking like small grains of rice. Often fleas are responsible for carrying tapeworm eggs. And some prey animals such as rabbits and rodents carry tapeworms in their gut. Tapeworms can mean your dog wears a dull coat with possible appetite and weight loss. Whipworms colonize the mucous membrane lining in the colon and feed on blood. Adults can be several inches long and flat at one end and the eggs are picked up from other dog's stools. Whipworms can mean your dog has diarrhea, vomiting and or weight loss. And hookworms live mainly in the small intestine, greyish in colour and grow to around three quarters of an inch long. They contain a small hook that attaches to the dog's intestinal lining and feed on blood. Hookworms are picked up from larvae in the soil via the mouth or can even enter through the skin in between your dog's toes. Hookworms can mean diarrhea and vomiting and can be passed on via mother's milk, which can mean a puppy suffers chronic diarrhea and possible anemia, weakness, lethargy and pale mucous membranes. Giardia is a tiny parasite that lives in the intestine and has a hair-like tail. Dogs pick up giardia from infected water. Most dogs don't show symptoms while some can develop chronic diarrhea. So you suspect your dog has worms. What's next? The usual course of action is to give your dog the usual deworming drugs. But I must warn you, these commercial synthetic and highly toxic drugs are dangerous and not to be used. These vet prescribed over the shelf drugs are highly toxic to dogs and people. And if you have an old packet lying around, go read the label and the possible side effects. It's very scary. The stuff is pure poison and should never go anywhere near your dog. This includes, but not restricted to the following poisons. Panka, Drontal Plus, Safeguard, Proworma 2, Nimax 2, Dronsit, HeartGuard, TriHeart, IvaHeart Max. And for complete eradication of all worms using a natural treatment that won't adversely affect your dog, I highly recommend using a tincture of black walnut, clove and wormwood. It's nature's answer to depopulating worms in your dog. And the combination of these three natural ingredients will kill the adult worms, the larvae and the eggs. And as a result, breaking the whole worm life cycle. Black walnut hulls come from the black walnut tree. And wormwood comes from the Artemisia shrub. And common cloves come from the clove tree. So what's the benefit of using it? For example, the roundworm parasite's eggs are ingested by your dog, generally from public places where other dogs congregate and live in the gastrointestinal tract. 
and the worms then get into the dog's bloodstream where they end up in the lungs. They're coughed up, usually swallowed, and then the cycle is repeated. By combining the three herbs as a single treatment, you'll kill the adults, the developmental stages, and the eggs of at least 100 different parasites in your dog. It's 100% natural, made from wild herbs, and effective on liver flukes, amoebas, giardia, cassidia, and all the worms mentioned above. So how do you use it? You can obtain this combination treatment as a ready-made bottled tincture. The treatment plan involves putting drops into your dog's food daily over a two-week period, stopping for a week, and then continuing for another two-week application. And the included instructions will give you the correct amount to give according to human weight. And on average, that's 150 pound. So for example, a 50 pound dog would take one third of the dose, a 25 pound dog one sixth of the dose, and so on. It's also very effective against yeast infections and urinary tract infections or UTIs. Don't use with pregnant or lactating dogs. The real key to worm prevention is a healthy immune system, which comes from a healthy lifestyle. A dog with a strong immune system will still have a few worms, that's natural, but the worms are kept in check by a healthy system and the dog does not get sick as worms are routinely expelled from a clean gut. Your dog's gut is 80% or more of your dog's immune system, and a dog fed a healthy kibble diet, a cooked food diet or a raw food diet is far less likely to get an out of balance worm population. Your dog's gastrointestinal system gets the vital help it needs to function better, with increased gut flora health, better self-cleaning, increased nutritional uptake, less oxidation, better digestion, better rehydration, better hormone production, and greater immunity to disease, and with better skin health. And for more on the healthy kibble diet and its ability to reduce dog health issues that include worms, allergies, diarrhea issues, yeast infections, ear infections, skin and coat problems, hot spots, arthritis and poor digestion or sensitive tummies, click on the link in the description below. You can also help your dog by cutting back as much as you can on medications, vaccines, antibiotics and all pesticides such as flea and tick treatments, heartworm medications, etc. And if you found this video useful, Please remember to like it, share it with friends and subscribe so you'll always be up to date on all the latest videos that I do. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye for now.